What's up you guys, it's Jose Zanigo from Teach Men's Fashion and for today's video we're going to be talking about how you could be destroying your smile. So I've talked about the importance of smiling, how it's just such a key part of your style, how you present yourself. It's probably one of the most powerful tools that you can have. It's a great icebreaker when you're meeting people. So of course having a beautiful smile is essential. But here are a couple surprising things that you probably are doing that could be potentially destroying your smile and how you could fix them. So believe it or not, too much cardio, emphasis on too much, can actually be a bad thing for your teeth. So a recent study at UK found that too much cardio can actually deteriorate your teeth. They looked at a, at a group of endurance athletes versus a group of non-exercisers, and they noticed that the guys that worked out had, were more prone to cavities. Not only that, the more they worked out, the higher their chances of getting cavities it was. So too much of a good thing can actually be a bad thing. The second thing that could just obliterate your smile is having yellow teeth. Yellow teeth are associated with bad habits, which can include bad oral hygiene. So of course, yellow teeth can ruin your smile. On the other hand, having white teeth can instantly improve your smile because you just look cleaner, more vibrant, more brighter. So having bright white teeth is a great way to just improve your smile and you do that by having a proper oral routine which is essential and watching what you eat. However, over time, you're still, your teeth, even if you have a great oral routine, they're still gonna get a little bit yellow the older you get. You cannot stop that. However, to kind of make your teeth a few shades whiter instantly is to use an at-home whitening system. Now, the one that I've used before is called White With Style and I've showed you how to do it before. I'm gonna have a video here. You can see the step-by-step -step process and how I do it. An at-home whitening system is probably the best way to whiten your teeth and get a nice and bright white smile. Now, these kits can get a little bit pricey, but I'm gonna link this one down below. I got you guys a discount code, which is gonna significantly bring down the price. And I won't go over all the steps on how to do it. Like I said, I already did in a previous video. You can watch it here. So combining an at-home whitening system like this one from White Whist Style with a proper oral routine can definitely net you a better smile. The next mistake, your smile looks fake. This is something that I see a lot all the time, especially on Shire people. For some reason, giving out a smile makes them feel awkward, makes them just not seem genuine, which of course makes you project a fake smile. And that that ruins a beautiful smile. And like I said in the beginning, there's a lot of contributors to a great smile other than your teeth, like your facial muscles and how you project it. So a good way to fight off those awkward fake smiles is to practice. And I do that all the time because even I'm a victim of this. So a good way to do that is practice, give out more smiles in the day. So say when I'm, going, when I'm at school and I see somebody down the hall, give them a smile. Practice your smiles more often. If you're at work and you see your coworker, give them a smile. In my videos, you see that all the time, I start my videos with a smile. The more you can smile, the more control you're gonna have over your facial muscles, and before you know it, you're gonna be handing out genuine warm smiles all the time, and it's gonna improve your smile. So practice makes perfect. The fourth smile killer is brushing your teeth after every meal. Again, a lot of these are just misconceptions that most of us have had since we were children. You've always heard that this is probably a good thing, but like I said already, too much of a good thing can actually be a bad thing, and brushing too much can wear down your teeth. However, if you want to keep a clean mouth after you eat, instead, chew on sugar-free gum. This is going to clean out your mouth, and it's also going to encourage saliva to build up in your mouth, and this is a natural antibacterial, which is going to help keep your teeth white. The next mistake is throwing flossing into the back burner. I think almost every adult sees flossing as an optional step of, of their hygienic process, but it's not. It's one of the most important ones. See, your toothbrush can't reach a lot of the surface area of your teeth, so that area that you don't clean, that's a breeding ground for bacteria that not only causes bad breath, it also decays your teeth, which takes away from a beautiful smile. And finally, something that you probably saw coming, but this, again, definitely could kill your smile, is the food that you eat. Now you don't want to live a boring life where you take away all this food and just you know cancel it from your life, but 
like everything else, moderation is key. So of course, candies and sodas that are high in sugar can encourage plaque buildup. You also want to control your citrus fruits, which are high in acidic levels and can wear down your enamel. Of course, coffee, tea, and red wine can permanently stain and discolor your teeth. And the big no-no of all, smoking. Obviously, you want to avoid smoking because you're killing a lot more than just your smile. So, that's it for me in this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. These are just a couple things that you can improve on to build a better smile. And like I said, a smile is a powerful tool, so it's something that you definitely want to invest in for your personal style. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like up button down below. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.